Uh, hello, hello, hello. Since I am all glammed up, I think it will be a great time to announce the winner of the pre-save campaign. The winner who will get the iPhone 12 Pro Max from pre-saving my song XL. Yay! Let the lash do the clapping. <laughs> So I will be reading some of the favorite ones that I love. Um, so yeah, let's get going. From uh, Singapore, from Chelsea Shavi Shashua. It used to be my thighs, but now it's definitely my nose. I have always had a flat nose and family members would always come up to me and squeeze my nose bridge and tell me to do so, so that maybe it will magically grow. You know what? In Thailand, we did the same thing. Like, um, my grandma also do that to me when I was young because she's afraid I will have a flat nose. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, what, I, what I've been through too. Um, I've been told to get nose jobs so that my Asian nose suits the standard Eurocentric beauty standards. And I grew older and I started to realize that I have a unique nose and it's special to me. Although I am still not extremely confident, I love my nose and I love that I I don't listen to other people's opinions about it. That's it. You know what? I also have a problem with my nose because um, some of the people told me that it's too big. <laughs> I have to make it um, go go to make it like smaller, but I just don't listen to other people's opinions about it too. So here we go. We just keep on going being ourselves and just embrace everything that we have so you go girl and let's move on to um the second one is from hong kong from edward shung i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong um from hong kong so the story is body hair it was heard that I was like an ape, fuck them, which makes me feel down and being so alert to this. But notice that it is a part of me and I should appreciate them. Maybe I should go for a sun bath in this summer. Apes together strong. Yes, you know, I have a lot of body hair too, but I just don't give a fuck if, if there's a somebody concerning about how it looks on me, which even I am not even bothered by by my own body hair, I just don't know the point of being insecure when these are these these things doesn't even matter to us that is having body hair but it matters to other people's opinion about us. So I don't know what the hell is wrong with with them. So yeah, just keep on going, keep on being you. Okay, moving on to the third one from Hong Kong, from Eunice. I would like to love my thigh more. In Asian culture, especially in Hong Kong, having slim thighs can be seen as good, body what the hell is even good body but i never have a slim thigh same since high school i have been hearing a lot from my family that i am fat and i have to exercise more even though i accept my body shape my family will never will family you need to change you need to be the good support system to your children um, this affects me a lot and I started having the strange feeling of inferiority for the first time. I stopped doing exercise and went to the wrong way with medicine and meal restrictions. They didn't help 
and it is now a vicious cycle. I can't even run for 1,500 meters, which was my best track event in high school. No, that's so sad. Now I'm in uni, I don't have the confidence to wear my favorite jeans. I don't even fit in them anymore. In order to love my body, I have started to do exercise again. My goal is to be happy and fit again. I hope I can love my thighs again. That's a beautiful thing to overcome, Eunice. Um, I, I just want to say that, well, um, family is a very, is a very important part to, uh, um, to really make someone feel good about themselves. Cause, cause family is supposed to love you for who you really are. Uh, it's very brave of you that you, uh, came this far and you started to love yourself again and started to do exercises for yourself. I don't have a problem with people wanting to be slimmer or skinnier. If your goal is not hurting you, you can do it. If your goal is to be healthy, then go for it. But don't go with the goal of trying to reach the beauty standards and like keep beating yourself up by shaping yourself and limiting, limiting yourself to just be happy only if you fit in the standards. You can choose to be happy just now, so... That's my thought on that. And you are very strong and brave. Start to exercise again and to keep on having a healthy mind, healthy mindset and go fit again. So I encourage you. Uh, moving on to Naha Thai Sin Kanarak from Thailand. Okay, her story is uh, my boobs because I've never been satisfied with the size of them. I always think that if I have big boobs, I can dress more confidently according to the standard of beauty. And I realized that I'm wrong. Even if I have small boobs, I can be beautiful the way I am. The best way is to accept myself and appreciate what I have. Yes, I definitely agree with that mindset because I have, I don't have boobs too. And I still feel sexy because I think um, feeling sexy is all about the inside. If you feel sexy inside, even if you're wearing a pajama, you will, you will find yourself sexy because sexy is all about the mindset. So that's the right man mindset you have there and keep on doing it xl doing it with pride and you will definitely feel more sexy and more confident about yourself girl next one which is the last one um from thailand from siri yakon tananan the story is on my mouth because i like to smile and this part is the easy of our body that can make impress to others by just smiling but also cover our feelings too. If we can't show it out, what we really feel, if it's not good to show it. And I love to smile to myself in front of the mirror cause even when no one understand us or not proud of us, but ourselves will, and it's the easy thing to do to make we love ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah yeah because a smile wouldn't cause anyone problem it it always bring out the positivity you can f always feel better after a smile even if you're the one receiving a smile or even if you're the one that's giving a smile so uh, so the time has come for me to announce the winner of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Eunice from Hong Kong! Yay! I just wanted to give a round of applause for Eunice. 
Oh, your story, damn, it is sad, but you overcome it. And it's a very, it's very brave of you to overcome that. And I am so proud of you, girl. It's a real self-love what you did there. Um, you start to love yourself the way you are. You start to have a healthier mindset. You start to work out for a healthier body. That is real. That's real shit to do to make you love yourself more. So congratulations, girl, for this iPhone. And congratulations to overcome this. This is a beautiful story with a beautiful ending. And keep on going. I love you. Mwah.